皆さん、こんにちは。Japanese Continuers。Japanese Continuers is a board developed category A subject that is worth two units and goes towards a student's ATAR. The Japanese Continuers course is for those students who have studied Japanese in years 9 and 10 and wish to continue their studies of the language. Why study a language for the HSC? Well, my answer to this question is often why wouldn't you want to continue your studies of Japanese? The Year 9 and 10 Japanese course has been quite vigorous, and many students have risen to the challenge. The Japanese Continuous course aims to push students even further to take their abilities in Japanese to the next level, where they can feel confident in speaking, writing, and comprehension of Japanese. Apart from this, languages are very important in our society and for the opportunities that they can create. There are opportunities in employment. Employers are often seeking employees who have a variety of skills and are able to speak, write, and understand a foreign language. Japanese is a very attractive skill in the workforce. There are many opportunities with universities. Many have sister university relationships with universities in Japan. Students have the opportunity to do part of their degree at a Japanese university. There are opportunities in travel and the tourism industry. We are optimistic about our recovery from the COVID 19 crisis. In this recovery, there will be industries that will need people skilled in languages, and Japanese is one of those important languages in the tourism sector. Lastly, studying a language will give you so many opportunities in life to be able to do new things and to meet many different people. Universities in Australia have seen the value of learning a foreign language and have also recognised how difficult this can be. Many universities offer bonus points for those students who receive a band 5. Or band six in their HSC results. These bonus points raise the students' ATAR, giving students an even better chance of getting into a course they wish to study. Each university has their own way of providing bonus points, and I encourage those students who are thinking of a particular university for the future to have a look at what they offer in regard to bonus points. In regard to how the Japanese continuous course is sequenced at St. Patrick's College, Many students are already at an advantage of the work they've completed in year 9 and 10. Students will be further extended in the topics of the individual. Details of the exact topics are listed in the subject selection booklet. Students will also explore topics that will involve Japanese speaking communities and the changing world. In the changing world, we will explore communities, tourism, and technology. In regard to assessments, in year 11, students will have three assessment tasks. The minimum weight for an individual task is 20%, with a maximum of 40%. These tasks will involve the assessing of language macro skills of speaking, listening, reading, and writing. Only one of these tasks can take the form of a formal exam. In year 12, there is a maximum of four assessment tasks. The minimum weight for a task is 10%, with a maximum of 40%. Again, only one of these tasks can take the form of a formal exam, with a maximum weighting of 30%. In regard to the HSC and how students will be examined, in speaking skills, students will participate in a 10 minute speaking exam with an examiner. This is worth 20% of their final HSC mark. A three hour written paper in the HSC exam period will also be done, where students will be examined on listening, reading, and writing skills. This contributes 80% of their HSC mark. The Japanese continuous course is taught by very experienced. These are teachers who have taught the HSC course for many years. They have marked the HSC. They have delivered HSC holiday workshops to Year 12 students at universities. They are teachers who have developed resources and technology that other schools are using. As mentioned before, studying Japanese continuous will provide students with many opportunities. In Year 11 and 12, there will be opportunities for incursions and excursions. We are also investigating an overseas study tour. For December of 2021. However, this trip will only take place if a COVID 19 vaccine is developed. There will be also opportunities with involvements with universities. We will also discuss the opportunities in employment and in travel and tourism. Many students who have graduated from St. Patrick's College and have studied a language have often said that languages have been a gift. It has been something that they've been able to take away from the college. Having a very positive impact on their lives and providing them with many opportunities. I thank you for listening to this presentation. 
If you have any further questions or would like more information, please make sure to contact Mr. Julian Nash. Domo arigato gozaimashita.